very dangerous. Information of any kind should never come from a single source. The decline of critical thinking. At the heart of education is the development of the mind's ability to question, to analyze, to dissent. Yet, as we've ceded control to the digital overlords, we've seen a precipitous decline in these very skills. Our children are learning not to think, but to regurgitate, not to challenge, but to conform, not to work, but to become an activist. The path forward, but all is not lost. There are steps we can take, battles we can win. Digital detox. We must reclaim space and time from the digital realm, carving out sanctuaries where our children can learn without the interference of algorithms. Critical consumption. Teaching our children to question the source and intent behind the digital content they consume is crucial. It's not just about digital literacy. It's about digital skepticism. Explore alternatives. The digital monopoly on information is not absolute. There are resources, untainted by big tech's bias, waiting to be discovered. Community engagement. It takes a village not to raise a child, but to protect one. By advocating for digital literacy and alternative education models, we can create a bulwark against the digital tide. The digital age promised a renaissance of learning. Instead, we find ourselves at a crossroads where the path we choose will determine not just the future of education, but the very essence of what it means to think, to learn, to be free. The Trojan horse stands within our gates, but it is not too late to drive it out, to reclaim the sanctity of our classrooms, and to ensure that our children's minds are shaped by wisdom, not by algorithms. Let's stand together for the sake of the children, for the future of education, for the preservation of our most fundamental freedoms. Sign up for my weekly newsletter. The consequence of convenience-trusted institutions have used the illusion of safety and the con of convenience to surveil American citizens and erode our culture tips, tricks for minimizing your exposure. The battle for our children's minds is not fought on distant shores, but in the very classrooms they sit in. The great digital deception isn't just a challenge. It's a call to arms for every listener who values freedom of thought and the sanctity of unbiased education. In the week ahead, I challenge you to engage with your local educators, question the digital platforms in use, and foster an environment of critical thinking and inquiry in your homes. The digital colossus might tower over us, but together, we are a force capable of toppling giants.